Hi guys, this is John with Lighthouse Reveals. Today we are going to be talking about a YouTuber named Rebecca B and how she is spreading lies, false prophecies, and is denying she is a prophet even though she meets all the definitions of one. Without uh, further delay, let's get started on this video. Good afternoon, my beautiful brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Today is Friday, the 30th of December 2022 at 1.10pm here in Australia. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all blessed. Oh, my brothers and sisters, this is going to be the most important video I have ever made. Right off the back, she claims this will be her most important video she has ever made, and this is not her first time claiming this and I guarantee it's not going to be her last. I'll make sure to put together a compilation of all the times she has said this, so make sure to keep an eye out in the future. I am telling you, the time is short. We have but minutes, brothers and sisters, minutes, okay, hours and days, and that's it. That's it, I am telling you. Father God had me in study this morning and he got me to write it down to make it simple. I'm going to show you this, brothers and sisters. You need to pay attention because this is our warning. Let's, let's check this out. Here she claims that, and I'm quoting, Father God had me in study this morning and had me write it down to make it simple. Unquote. So, she is claiming that this is a direct message teaching and understanding from the Lord. Well, let's see how this turns out. Okay, first thing that Father had me draw up was the three time zones, okay? Now she claims that, quote, the first thing Father had me draw up was the three time zones, unquote. Now's time is here over on the right, and that will be 7 a.m. in the morning. Please, brothers and sisters, stick with me. This is the most important video I will ever make. Okay, so in Matthew 24, 38. For as in the days that were before the flood. Please listen to the wording. Please listen to this warning. As in the days that were before the flood. Slash tribulation. Okay, these are the days right now. These, right these minutes, right these hours, right these days. Are the days before the flood, the tribulation. They were eating and drinking. It's going to be on New Year's Eve, brothers and sisters, okay? They're also marrying and proposing. That's giving in marriage, okay? Until the day that Noah entered the ark, okay? Isaiah 26, 20, Come, my people, into my chambers. Shut the door and hide thyself for a little moment while my indignation goes over past. Father God is calling us and giving us a gift right now. You must believe in this, brothers and sisters. Never have I spoken such a fervent message of a fervent warning. This is imminent, okay? He's, he, the Yeshua Jesus Christ, seven days, January 7th. I am telling you, this is why Trump, he came out with the MAGA, the ultimate MAGA, and he said, you know, you watch out for January uh, 7th, we're gonna make America great again, even better than before, okay? Sure All right, back. so okay, okay, this is why. This is unbelievable, okay? Um, until you are right about that, at least, Rebecca. This is 100% unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable all the way. This is a warning for all the tired church okay i know we're all getting tired i know the days are coming and going but i'm telling you this is it brothers and sisters so so many of you who are tired and just like i'm sick of waiting for this rapture i'm sick of this i'm just going to enjoy this party lifestyle whatever drinking and getting drunk brothers and sisters i pray this is your last call you must remain sober and vigilant and have a night vigil because he will come at the midnight hour. I am telling you, this is why we got told in the Passover that at exactly midnight. Okay, this is why we got told in Matthew that the bridegroom calls at midnight, okay? And the, only the five wise who had their lamps full of hope, believe, and trust in this promise will ever gonna go into the world because we're all tired. So many people on my comments say, I'm so tired of this, the days are passing, whatever. 
brothers and sisters, I beg of you, I pray with all my heart and soul that this is it. I truly feel with all my heart and soul. And this is why I wrote it down. As messy as it was, I had to get it down while the Spirit was leading me to write this and to show you. Here she is again claiming that the Holy Spirit led her to write these things down. Watch. If, you, if I come and I find you not want, watching, then this day will overtake you. It is giving you a warning in, in Luke, telling you exactly what's going on, okay? It will be New Year's Day. Do not get overtaken by being drunk, okay? I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, again, I'll show you this time, okay? The clock is going to strike midnight on New Year's Eve. We are going to be here and see now okay. because the time is so close. Father God is now completely opening these books and he is telling you it is going to be midnight. Claiming Father God is opening these books and telling us it will be midnight in New York when the rapture happens. Okay, and for Australia, we'll be working in the fields. Okay, two will be in the field, one will be taken, one will be left. Um, you know, and in the morning, he's going, and in the Zion, I'm going to be taken. Brothers and sisters, if you've ever listened to any of my videos or, or made fun of them or whatever, please heed this one. I am telling you, brothers and sisters, if you're in the U.S., the United States, or anywhere in the world, but particularly in the U.S., this needs to be a night vigil for you. Forget the drinking, cancel all the plans, all the parties. I know we're all tired, but I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, it shall be worth it. I'm not going to come on here. I don't care if I look like a fool. Whatever it may be, I don't care. All glory goes to Father God. He is showing me this. I have a fervence in my heart. I'm nearly in tears because this is it, brother. Then she goes on after this failed prophecy to make another <laughs> approximately 10 videos so far, claiming again, this is the last warnings <laughs> and that this is it. So, Rebecca, how many times are you going to be doing this? How many times are you going to be claiming that this is the last warning we'll get? <laughs> sisters we know we've had the warnings over and over now there's heaps hundreds just an overflowing of your lamps brothers and sisters this is not the time to fall asleep or fall away it is going to happen on new year's eve on new york time i'm telling you brothers and sisters it's when the world thinks not it's when the jews think not and it shall come so i'm going to leave that brothers and sisters with you i have to get this out now i pray that you share it over and over and over i pray that you tell your family and friends who cares if you look like a fool i don't care if i look like a fool this rebecca if people are constantly spreading false messages and false hope what do you think that's going to do yeah they might look like fools and you say who cares but then what's going to happen when the real time comes and they see something really do really coming down the pipeline and they don't say anything at that point or no one believes them at that point because you had them spread hundreds of false dates. What then? You ever hear the story, The Boy Who Cried Wolf? It's a good life lesson, and you should probably go read it. It needs to be told because this is it, brothers and sisters. I am telling you without a doubt, this is it. With everything in my mind, body, and soul, I truly, truly believe this is it. New York, midnight, New Year's Eve, you know, the end is nigh, NYE, the end is New York, uh, sorry, yeah, the end is uh, New Year's Eve, I'm telling you, okay. but if you're not, if you do not believe this 100% with your heart, now is the time to do it, because it is literally tick-tocking, tick-tocking until that last midnight hour, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, so I love you, God bless you, keep safe, keep the faith, Keep your head up, keep your eyes upon the sky, because I'm telling you, Yeshua Jesus Christ is coming for you. Good morning my beautiful brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Today is Tuesday the 3rd of January 2023. Um, you know for Father God's wisdom and discernment and um, you know for him to show me things and I don't doubt that. 
I don't doubt that that is Father God showing me through his Holy Spirit that teaches me. Now in saying that, um, I understand, I totally understand that the, uh, the previous events of New Year's Eve did not pan out. It's very obvious now we're on to the third day of January. However, brothers and sisters, I have made many videos uh, discussing, you know, coming into January, January 6th and 7th, that we originally are on the Julian calendar and we after her New Year's Eve rapture video clearly failed, and we are a few days into January, people on her channel were commenting, calling her a false prophet and everything else, and <laughs> she didn't like it. But yet, she comes back and makes another video, now claiming that we are still here because we're on the Julian calendar, <laughs> so that we're in 2022 still. We have not passed 2022 yet, okay, because we must consider that at the time of Christ, the Julian calendar was instituted, so that I believe very much is what we're going by, and so that being said, um, January 6th will be the Epiphany, which is the Orthodox um, churches like Russia and Ethiopia, example, um, they will be having their somewhat Christmas Eve and Christmas Day on January 7th. Now, um, as you know, my brother Steve Fletcher has made, I truly believe that we are going on the Julian calendar. Um, so you've got to remember brother and sister is going to make the announcement on January 7th. Again, claims Trump will come out on January 7th, announcing something about Ultra Mega and whatever else. But that clearly did not happen as well either. And I wonder where she got those ideas from. Steve? <laughs> Steve Fletcher? ...about the Ultra Mega and Mega, and that I'm a false prophet, and, um, you know, just the barrage of... Uh, hateful and hurtful comments that I've received. I'm not going to delete any of them because everybody shall stand by their words um, and have to um, respond to the Creator. Well, if everyone's going to have to stand by their words, Rebecca, how about your words in false prophecies? You were telling people that the rapture was going to guaranteed happen by midnight, New York time, so when you give people false promises, Rebecca, what happens if they go out and sell all their items? What if people have s sold their houses? Would you feel responsible? Would you give them $100,000, $200,000 to buy a house again? I don't think you would. But yet, you were telling people it was guaranteed. One day for every word that they have spoken, there is no idle words. So um, I'm not going to attack anybody. I'm rather, I'm going to pray for you. That I did it because I'm trying to be faithful to what God is showing me. And I believe without a doubt that it is Father God who is speaking to me and through me. And so if you believe God is talking through you and to you, Rebecca, that means you think God is a liar. You think he's deceiving you. That's what you're saying because I don't believe it is the spirit of the enemy um, trying to trick me because that would mean that prayer doesn't work. And I always pray fervently that my brother Steve Fletcher, I know that he didn't want to see. Does anyone really wonder why all these watchmen are constantly peddling the same lies? It's because they are all living in an echo chamber. They all follow each other's channels and then spread each other's words and predictions like it's true scripture directly from the Bible. New Year's come and go either in the year 2023 happened, but please remember when Christ was walking on this earth, we were still in the Julian calendar. Okay, um, the Julian calendar by Julius Caesar was a narrow path. We are nearly there, I promise you, with everything. I'll be very careful not to set an exact date, and I'm sorry for doing She says now that she's sorry for setting an exact date. 
The only reason she's sorry is because she's getting such flack for being wrong. Even though she says she wasn't going to set another date, she did. If you look at her most recent videos, which I will cover soon, she set a date for January 26th, saying <laughs> three days of darkness was going to happen before this date. Which I, I really need to cover in another video because it's absolute insanity. She was telling people you need to put garbage bags or whatever over your windows and black them out. This lady is crazy. She mentions in some of her videos that her husband doesn't like her doing these. I wonder why. Can you imagine being her husband and coming home and seeing a bunch of garbage bags blocking out all the sun in your whole house? Because your wife thinks that <laughs> there's going to be no sun for three days randomly? Absolute madness. So, but like I said, I am a very excitable person and if Father shows me something, I will put everything, my heart and soul into it. And, um, but I've always said, I'm only 99% sure of these things. I've never said I'm 100% sure. This is your last call. You must remain sober and vigilant and have a night vigil because he will come at the midnight hour. I am telling you, this is why we got told in the Passover that at exactly midnight. Because as we know, a lot of dates have come and gone. Uh, but I just wanted, so I'm not claiming at ever once that I'm a prophet, okay? Bullshit. I am not a prophet, I am just a vessel that Father God uses to encourage the body of Christ. So, Rebecca, if you're claiming not to be a prophet, then why are you saying that the Lord God is telling you these things and having you write them down? That is literally the definition of being a prophet. You are saying that he is directing you and teaching you these things. That makes you a prophet. I did it because I'm trying to be faithful to what God is showing me. And I believe without a doubt that it is Father God who is speaking to me and through me. And For a quick uh, look, let's look through uh, Deuteronomy 20 through 22. But the prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name that I have not commanded him to speak or who speaks in the name of other gods, that same prophet shall die. And if you say into your heart, how may we know the word that the Lord has not spoken? When a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the word does not come to pass or come true, that is a word that the Lord has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously. You need not be afraid of him. So, what is the definition of a prophet? A person who speaks for God or a deity or by divine inspiration. A person regarded as or claiming to be an inspired teacher or leader. A person who foretells or predicts what is to come. All right, well, I think that's uh, all I'm gonna be covering for today, guys. If you have any comments or feedback, please uh, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. If you have anyone that you want me to look into on YouTube or any other social media website, link them in uh, the comment section below. I'll check them out. I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, hope you guys have a good day. Or not. It's up to you. I'm going to need a motherfucking crate before I go crazy. Be right back.